All right, hello everybody. This is a video to help you with tonight's review. Um, I had quite a few questions in class about the division, so I will do a couple problems for you here, and I'm going to do a couple uh, multiplication, or maybe just one depending on the time. But we're gonna start off, um, we will start nice and simple with number eight. This is one that I got a lot of questions on in class. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the problem just as it is. So when you guys see a problem like this, I want you to write it just as it is. So I have two and 24 hundredths, and then you're going to leave a little bit of a space between that and your division symbol, and then three and two tenths. Okay, then what I want you to do is I want you to find out which one is the divisor. So in this case here, this one here is your divisor, and we cannot have a decimal in the divisor. So what we need to do is we need to scoop it out. We're multiplying by 10, and what I do to one part, I need to do to the other. So I'm only going to move it once, and it's totally fine if you have a decimal here in the dividend. Okay, so now that I've moved the decimals, I'm going to rewrite the problem. So now I have, instead of 2 and 24 hundredths, I have 22 and 4 hundredths, or 4 tenths, excuse me, divided by 32. So now that I have a new problem, I'm going to read it as I write it. So 22 and 4 tenths, the next symbol I see is divided by, divided by, 32. And the reason I like to do it that way is because then you don't mix up your divisor and your dividend. And then my dividend has a decimal, so I'm going to pop it up right on top. And then I'm kind of just going to forget about this one. I'm going to pretend that that one here is not even there. So we're going to start 32 goes into 22 zero times. And then we're going to move over to the next place value. 32 goes into 224 how many times? So I don't know about you, but counting by 32s gets a little bit challenging after the third or fourth time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a friendly number or something that is a little bit easier for us to use. So what number is a little bit more doable um, than 32? 30. So 30 is the same as 3 tens. So I'm just going to count by threes to get close to 22 because I have three tens and 22 tens. So we'll go three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So 21 is as close as I can get. So because I estimated, I counted seven times, I'm gonna multiply this number by seven to see if it actually fits. That way I don't have to do a bajillion multiplication problems to get close to the number I need. So 32 times seven, we have 14 here. And then 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 is 22. And what do you know? It fits beautifully. 224 with no remainder. And so our quotient is 0 and 7 tenths. Hooray! All right. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. If you still need to see it, you're welcome to pause the video and go back. But I'm going to move on. Let's move this guy here, sorry. It doesn't want to let me move the screen. Ah! Okay. Come on, dude. Sorry, guys. I'm having some troubles here. It is only letting me do two at the same time. Okay. And group. It was grouped together before, so let's see if this works. There we go. I'm so sorry about that. All right, now let's do number 11, okay? Um, actually, no, let's do nine. We'll do nine. So number nine, we're gonna look over in our divisor, which is here, that does not have a decimal, so it's great. Your dividend, it doesn't matter if you have a decimal, so we're just gonna leave that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it as I write it. 35 and 75 hundredths divided by 55. And I see I have a decimal in the quotient, so I'm going to pop it up. Okay, 55 cannot go into 35, so I'll put a zero here because we're trying to go into 35. And now we're going to scoot over one more 
and we're going to go into 357. We're just going to pretend that this decimal is not here, 357. So again, counting by 55s is not the easiest to do. I'm going to round down to 50 and just remember that I'm going a little bit under the number that I want. So I'm just going to pretend that that's 50. And 50 is the same as 5 tens. So really what I'm doing is I'm counting by 5 tens. And I'm going to try to get as close as I can to 35 tens. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth. You don't have to hear me count. <laughs> And what do you know? I get really close to 35. But remember, I rounded down, so I don't really want to try this one because I think it's going to be over. So instead, I'm going to go to the 30. So I can go about six times. So I'm going to use some math over here, and we're going to do 55 times 6. Okay, so 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 3 is 33. So that's 330. That's perfect. If I did any more, it would be too much. Okay, and then we'll find our difference and then bring down our next place value. And we'll do the same thing. And because we've already counted by five tens and we went a little bit under, we can see we're trying to get to 275. And because we've already done the counting over here, we can go ahead and just look. I know that five tens can get close to 275 by going five times down to 25. So I'm going to try 55 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 is 275. And what do you know? It fits beautifully. So we are going to say that our quotient is 0 and 65 hundredths. So the key here, you guys, is when you're doing long division is not only to know what to do with the decimal, but also using strategies like estimation to help you so that you don't have to do so many multiplication problems to figure out where you're supposed to get these numbers from, okay? I'm going to erase this, and then let's go up quickly to a multiplication problem up at the top at 1-1. So if you look up, um, let's do... Let's do this one, number 12. So it's, it's written here in a horizontal fashion because it wants you to choose which way you're going to write it. Now, I like to tell you guys, do not add zeros if you do not have to because then you're doing extra multiplication. Instead, what I want you to do is find the one that has more digits. This has two digits and this has three digits. Let's put this one on top. So we'll start off by doing 52 and 3 tenths times 16. Now, this one does not have to be aligned by decimal or by whole number. What we're really looking for is to line up on the right right here. And then we just go ahead and do our multiplication. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. And then we have uh, 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is 31. Add your 0 to show that you're moving to the next place value. Then we have 3, 2, 5 because we're multiplying by 1. Then we just add these together, 8, 6, 3, 8. Now we worry about the decimal at the end. I can see that there's only one place value that I need to scoot into. So starting on the end, I'm just going to move one place value and scoot over. And then I can write my product as 836 and 8 tenths. I hope this was helpful. Um, why is it asking me to put it? Sorry, I hope you didn't see that. I was I pressed a button. Okay, um, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Everything else, you know, when you're adding and subtracting, you're aligning your decimals. Multiplication, you move them at the end. And then with division, you really only want to get your decimal out of your divisor. Alrighty, happy math.